Hi everyone and welcome to lesson number four and um, in lesson number four we're actually going to start looking at um, adding our sprite sheets into the Unreal Engine so we can actually start working with our um, level design. Now hopefully you have been following through from lesson one because I'm going to continue from uh, how the tutorial has started so if you've skipped a few bits of content um, hopefully you know exactly what you're doing because um, I don't want you to get lost when we start working um, in this section um, of the tutorial. Um, this tutorial uh, hopefully won't be too long. I average around about 20 minutes per video. Um, so hopefully I won't be taking more time than that. Um, but there are a few things we need to look at uh, before we start putting in these sprites and um, how do we get them onto our um, our engine and our, obviously our viewport and etc. Um, so let's get started. So in our previous session, what we had was our sprite sheet. Now, it's not probably the best looking sprite sheet that we've got at the moment. Um, there's only really six sprites that we have got here um, out of a total of, I think it's 64. So 8 by 8 is 64, I think, if my maths is correct. Um, so really, I could put 64 sprites um, in this area. Now, say, for example, you're making a tree um, or if you're having a bit of grass or um, if you're having maybe some water, um, all of these would be part of your sprite sheet that you'd start creating for your platformer. Now, just because um, a lot of people have asked me the question of why did I do 256 by 256? Well, one is a little bit smaller um, and we don't have so much, but to be honest, you don't have to use 256 by 256. Uh, you could use 512 by 512. You could use 1024 by 1024. But don't forget, the bigger you go, um, the more uh, sprites you'd need to create to apply to that sprite sheet um, if you want a full functioning sprite sheet, that is. Um, so, really, my students are only making a very uh, small, they're only just focusing on one level. Um, and don't forget these these uh, tutorials we made for them. Um, so, it's a very small uh, sprite sheet that I've asked them to do for um, the actual assessment. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring this sprite sheet um, into our Unreal. So, I've actually got Epic open this time. So, I've, I've got Epic. Um, or the actual um, launcher open, shall I say. And we're actually going to launch 4.10.4, so that's the current version that we are using. Um, so I'm definitely going to launch that up, so we just wait a moment whilst this does launch. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. And you can see these are all our, well, all the little projects I have been working on. Uh, just again, tinkering with things like, for example, uh, login systems and all sorts of weird things like that. Um, but the one we're currently working with is this uh, YouTube tutorial 2D. Now we actually set this up on uh, lesson one, so if you want to go back to that lesson, um, you can go back to that and see exactly how we actually set this up. Um, you don't have to go through um, two and three if you don't want to learn how to make sprite sheets and stuff. You could just jump back um, into lesson four. Um, so let's open up that that project, and I'll just sort of recap what we've got um, currently um, inside this project. So what we had. Um, is we had this grass that we pulled in. Um, I'm actually going to delete that because we don't need that at all. Um, we can actually pull that out. But what we do have um, is just a, a, an empty space, really, um, that's got our character that we resized because he was um, a little bit too big um, for what we were working with. So we actually did resize him. Um, he does have a camera attached to him, as you can see. Um, there's the camera. And what we did with that camera um, is if I just have a look in the properties here, we changed the camera boom to be flat because um, we're going for good old retro um, style. So we changed the socket of the camera boom uh, to zero. Um, and then what we did is we just changed the side view camera uh, and we changed the auto width to 350. So um, we get a nice view. And just to show you with the alt P, uh, you can see that we have a nice um, view of the character um, from that distance. So this lesson is not all about the canvas. This lesson is all about getting that sprite sheet in. Okay, and it's very, it's not very difficult to do this. Um, really, what we're going to do is we're just going to import this into our sprites folder, which we have here. Um, and we're going to tinker with a bit of paper 2D stuff um, that we have got, um, which is going to make uh, bringing stuff into Unreal um, quite easy. So first of all, make sure we're on our sprites. If you have not made this folder, it might be a very good idea to make this folder because uh, you're going to have to refer back to this. Uh, quite a few times um, and sometimes what people do is they'll make one called sheets and uh, sprites and etc it depends on uh, what you're creating um, in this case I'm just not going to make a new folder and it's going to be environment because um, I was thinking about it and I might actually go into characters um, and we might create a little sprite sheet of a character or, or something um, on our journey through these tutorials 
But at the moment, what we are creating, so if we go back to this Photoshop file, um, is really environmental sprite sheets. So uh, anything to do with environment is what we're going to be doing um, within this tutorial. And what we're going to do is we're going to import, and we're actually going to import this sprite sheet um, that we created inside Photoshop. So again, back to this one here. Um, and this is a PNG. Um, so very highly recommended that you you bring PNGs because uh, PNGs give the transparency and transparency plays a huge part um, in this whole let's turn it into sprites and um, it also helps a lot with collision and, and all sorts of other things that we're going to get into during these tutorials. So let's open that up and straight away you can see that the sprite sheet has gone kind of weird. Um, it sort of stretched itself all over the place um, and it looks a complete mess. This is not what we created at all. Well, if I'm being honest, what Unreal is thinking is this is actually a 512-512 material um, that might go on to, for example, a 3D model. Um, or actually, not, not, not material, it's actually a texture, sorry. It's thinking it's a texture. And it thinks that the texture needs to go onto material, that therefore you put the material um, onto a 3D model. But we're not doing that. Um, we want this to be a 2D um, object. So if we actually double click on it, you can see that, okay, it has now got rid of all that stuff around it. Um, but if you look at it, it looks kind of blurry. Um, it doesn't look very nice. And this is not what we want to represent um, as our side scroller um, at all. It looks really horrible. So there are a few steps that we need to do. The first step is we're going to right click and we're going to go to Sprite Actions. And the very first thing that you do with any sprites that you have is we apply this paper do a paper 2D um, texture settings. And what that does, a paper 2D will automatically turn that texture um, into a paper 2D texture, i.e. Um, into a, a, you could say into a sprite in some in some crazy way in a very low level language. And if we click on that you'll notice that it's completely changed. Um, all the transparencies come in. Um, and if we double click on it this time, you can see that it's not blurry anymore. It's the resolution that we wanted um, for our um, environmental pieces. Now, just because we've done that and we've just applied it to Paper 2D settings, this does not mean um, that we can now drag this. Oh, I think I'll just put that on my guy. I did. I think I've just turned my paper do to your 2D character to this material. We'll actually get rid of that. My bad, sorry. What I was meaning is we can't just drag this onto the canvas and we could probably put on the character, but um, we can't put on the canvas and drop it and say, okay, we want that because that's not what we want. What we do want is we actually want to take out each one of these sprites that we have here. Um, and if you remember, we made six in total. Um, as we can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six that we've got on the sprite sheet. A nice thing about Paper 2D, it allows us to do it quite easily. Um, and to do this, we just right click, Sprite Actions, and we're going to extract all the sprites. Now, straight away, it looks a bit weird because what we have is looking at the extraction, it's got this yellow box around it. Now, it's thinking that all of this is one sprite, um, but technically it's not. We have got six different sprites in here. But the reason why it's done that is because it's thought that it's set itself to auto mode. So automatically, Unreal or Paper 2D is thinking, well, these are all attached together. Therefore, it is one sprite. That's not the case. We actually want to separate this. So the easiest way to do that is instead of auto mode, we're going to go on to grid. And you can see it's got a lot more bigger, this, this yellow box. Right? And the reason why it's done that is because if we look down here where it says cell width and cell height, it's 256 by 256. Now, if you remember correctly, 256, 256 is the size of our sprite sheet. But is that the size of our sprites? The answer to that question is no. The size of our sprites are 32 by 32. Now, it's quite simple that I could just change this one to 32 and 32. And as you can see, it now has made the grid like we had in Photoshop and actually separated each one of our sprites out. Okay, so it's actually separated each one of them. And this is exactly what we want. I mean, if you're making something like uh, 16 by 16 sprites, 
you do exactly the same thing. Okay, you can actually do 16 by 16 if you wanted to pull out little pieces of that shape. Uh, if you're doing, for example, um, 64 by 64, okay, exactly the same thing. Um, it will then take out those chunks of 64, 64. But what we're doing in this whole full tutorial is we're sticking with 32 by 32. Uh, quite nice sprites to work with, to be honest. It's, it's, it's a nice um, thing we can work with instead of, yeah, it, it's just a lot more easier. But we have a problem. If I ha happen to do now and say, all right, I've now got my grid and I extract this, it's actually going to extract all these empty ones. And what will happen is because I've got 64 blocks in here, my content browser, it's going to fill with 64 blocks. Six of them are going to be the ones that I want, and the rest are going to be empty. And that could cause a problem. Um, not really a problem. It just it makes extra work for you because you might have to remove um, all those, those empty uh, blocks that we don't need. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of math. Okay. Now, we're going to draw attention to these two here. So cells X and Y. Um, if anyone from Unreal is watching this question from Paper 2D, it will be very nice um, if you could allow us to take these out. Um, so if we just click on it. It'll be very nice instead of doing some math. Um, but what we want is it's saying how many number cells on the x-axis do we want? Now, the x-axis, if you know, is going from top to bottom. All right. So if I had to change that to 1, you can see now it's only going to take anything in this area here. Okay. This is not anything that we want in particular because if I was taking all this, I'm going to have 2 that will have something in, um, and then these will all be blanks, which we'll have to then delete, which could be a mess, all right? But what we do want is that we do want three across. So we can actually say we want three x-axes. So we do want three, because um, we want to select um, this uh, row. But what we only want is we want, if you see here, we've got this y value, okay? And on the y value, we want one, two rows. Okay, so we only want two rows. And obviously, Y being our rows, we put two in, and now we've only selected six of what we wanted. Now, this won't always work. This is why I'm saying if someone from uh, Paper 2D or, or Unreal is actually watching this, please give us the option to just take one out. But if, if there is an option, and I, and I don't know about it, um, please um, let me know in the comments or, or anything like that. But this is the way I'm used to um, by doing a bit of math um, and just selecting the ones that I want to take out. And it's as easy as this, guys. All we have to do then is just click on the Extract button, and it'll actually extract each of the sprites that I've selected. It's as easy as that. There, there is no... I mean, you couldn't get any easier than this. That you just create a sprite sheet, you then select the sprite you want to extract, extract it, and it's there. I mean, it's, it's all there for you, so you don't have to do much work. But what I want to do is I'm actually going to go to my front view, um, so we can see that it's actually got my camera in my front view, I think. Yeah, it's in the way. Nice one, camera. Um, you're awfully in the way. Ridiculously in the way. I wonder if I can actually make this visible. Visible? I don't, I don't want to spray. I want the camera. But if I select the camera, it's going to... Oh, my God. It's just going to be in the way, isn't it? Okay. Let's do it the hard way. So, actually, let's just drop the... Um, the normal spray here, so we just drop it on the screen. Um, and we can sort of negotiate where we want to put this spray, because we can sort of see the character there. Um, and we're actually going to place that underneath our character, like so. So if I had to play the game, we can see we've now got our sprite and, obviously, our character. What you could then start doing before we start looking at the next tutorials is you can actually start putting um, a very simple level together. So if you hold Alt and Drag, Attach, Alt and drag and attach, um, and then do this again. So pull that up, fit it in against there, and we'll get one of these corners and put it on the side here. And then just move the camera a bit across and move that down like that. Press Alt P, you can actually see that we're starting to get. Oh, jeez, he runs so fast. We need to change some of those settings. But you can see that we've got the character, okay, that can start walking in our environment. But this is not what we're going to do. 
Um, Unreal has made our life a lot more easier, or shall I say Paper 2D has made our life a lot more easier, that we don't have to do the strenuous task of putting each sprite in individually. Because if you could imagine, that could be extremely time consuming if you're trying to make um, a very large uh, puzzle level or um, even if it's an open world level, um, it could become very, as I say, time consuming and a bit of a pain. So we're actually going to stop the troll there. This is all about taking out the sprites, so um, extracting them uh, so we can start using them. In our next tutorial, uh, we're going to start looking at how do we check to see if there's collision. So we can actually see there is collision currently on the sprites. Um, but later on in our next episode, you're going to see when we start creating our environment, um, collision is not going to be there anymore. So uh, we're going to look at how do we apply that and make sure that there is going to be collision um, with all our pieces later on. Again, thank you very much um, for joining me in this session. Um, it has, again, under 20 minutes, which is good. Um, as I say, in the next episode, we're going to start actually creating the environment the nice, easy way. Um, so tune in for that episode, um, and I'll see you then. Remember, please, if you like, subscribe, like, and share if you want to, um, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much. See you again.